And what is going on guys? You see a Jaguar here with Jinjag.com and yesterday the Jaguars basically finalized their 53 man roster after they cut 37 players over the course of Friday and Saturday. But as expected the Jaguars made some waiver moves since I released my video so I want to go over some of the guys that we released and some of the guys that we claimed and even go into the practice squad a little bit. So let's get it. So some of the players that the Jaguars decided to let walk included defensive tackle Stephon Charles, quarterback Brandon Allen, offensive lineman Jeremiah Putasi, linebacker Hayes Florida III, and tight end Neil Sterling. Now there really only one that surprised me a lot was just the cutting Brandon Allen. This really pissed a lot of Jaguar fans off just because it seemed like with us having Blake Bowles and Chad Henney up there. It just seemed like Brandon Allen was our little glimpse of hope. Maybe I'd be able to preserve this quarterback position at some time during the season if, say, Blake Bortles or Chad Haney were to just play really bad. And, you know, I just don't really like it just because I'm not that big of a fan of Henney. And when when the offensive coordinator, Doug Marone, announced that Bortles was going to be the starter week one, he alluded to his escapability in the pocket as one of his main attributes. But... We saw Brandon Allen be able to have that ability to do that, and we saw him fire off some really good passes. Now, when Sean McVay picked him up off waivers, he alluded to his game film being impressive enough to be able to make an easy decision to pick him up. But one thing Doug Roan would speak about when it comes to his take on Brandon Allen is how he's kind of inconsistent when it comes to games and practice. Apparently practice is very ins inconsistent, however he plays his best in the middle of games. So it really speaks to how the Jaguars have felt about Brandon Allen this whole training camp, not even to giving him a shot at the starting quarterback competition and obviously releasing him now. So. We'll see what happens with it. Thank God he wasn't claimed by like the Patriots or something. Then I think we'd all be sweating a little bit more. But Brandon Allen is no longer with the team. He got picked up by the Los Angeles Rams. Now for all the positions that the Jaguars cut, they decided to sign someone to replace him at every position except for the quarterback position. The Jaguars signed defensive lineman Eli Anku, tight end James O'Shaughnessy, linebacker Donald Payne, cornerback Lafayette Pitts, and offensive tackle William Poles. Now, these were a lot of the positions I expected us to upgrade on. You know, the interior of the defensive line. This Anku guy is probably going to be used more for run situations to maybe spell somebody who's injured. James O'Shaughnessy, He's a tight end from, I believe, New England, but I think there were like five or six teams that put in a claim for him, but the Jaguars were able to get him since they are a priority number four. So linebacker Donald Payne, don't know too much about him, but you know he'll be used more for special teams. I doubt he'll be in there really much at all on the defensive side, but cornerback Lafayette Pitts, he was from Miami. He played, I think he played in about eight games last year for the Dolphins, so... You know, I expected them to definitely upgrade that position, bringing in somebody. He'll probably jump Jalen Myrick in that um, in that depth chart. And then offensive tackle William Poles. You know, all these guys, we'll see what we can get out of them. All these guys were cut from a team, so whatever team decided to cut them, decided they weren't good enough to be on a team. So don't expect any of the guys, these guys to be world beaters, but these were some of the guys that we are at the end of the roster that will be used probably a lot in special teams and just, you know, critical situ or like dire situations if we have a bunch of injury. The Jaguars also signed a bunch of guys to the practice squad. I believe there's 11 open positions. So, um, you know, this is usually I think that during the regular season, they sign about one or two new players to the practice squad a week. Just because it gives the Jaguars kind of an ability to see other guys, test them out, see how they practice and you know see if they can be able to make themselves a potential asset for the team but it's a good way just for the coaches to get a look at guys in the middle of the season but with that said that's all i got be sure to subscribe to me as we are officially in our first game week as the jaguars face off against the houston texans on sunday so you know hit the subscribe i'll be providing you guys with all kinds of new jaguars videos analysis news all that good stuff and Remember, I'll be going live at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday for a Houston Texans pregame show. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But that's all I got. This is UCF Jaguar with JinJag.com. I'm out.